Hey guys, Dr. Shook here. In this video, what I want to talk about is the relationship of Hashimoto's to stress. And in particular, there, there are three types of stress, and we're going to talk about emotional stress first. So, um, emotional stress, one of the things that emotional stress will do is it will um, trigger a sympathetic nervous system response. So, you know, there's two different divisions of your autonomic nervous system that, that we're going to talk about uh, that we can relate to here, okay? So there's the sympathetic, which is the fight or flight system, and then there's the parasympathetic, which is the rest and digest system. So if we're just going to like group everything together, that's predominantly um, relevant to our discussion, right? Sympathetic is going to be fight or flight. Parasympathetic is going to be resting and digesting. Most people in the modern day society are stuck in the fight or flight. They're stuck in the symp they're sympathetically dominant, meaning their sympathetic nervous system, which controls all these bodily functions, is in overdrive. It's uh, it's kind of as if you're always being chased by the lion, right? Like if we were relating this back to um, ancestral types of stressors, right? But usually if the lion chased you, it would be over. If you got away or you'd be eaten, right? You get away and that stressor decreases and then you're your um, sympathetic nervous system calms down, you shift in more to a parasympathetic state, which is more resting. Your bodily functions can, uh, there's a lot of bodily functions that are uh, that, that we need with parasympathetic um, activity, right? Resting, digesting, hormonal release, a lot of different things that we really need. But a lot of people are stuck in the, they're stuck in this uh, fight or flight mode, right? They're stuck in fight or flight and it can be like emotional. So a bad job, bad relationships, financial stresses, those are huge drivers and potential reasons that you might have issues with, um, with emotional stressors. So one of the things you got to do is with stress, the reason it's so important with Hashimoto's and with autoimmunity is that it triggers this stress response. Okay, so it drives the sympathetic nervous system. It puts you in fight or flight mode. When you're in fight or flight, one of the problems is is that you tend to produce a lot of cortisol. You stress your adrenal glands, and your adrenal glands pump out a lot of your stress hormones, which uh, that will include um, adrenaline, noradrenaline, which we also epinephrine, uh, norepinephrine, are produced in in uh, concert with at the same time with cortisol, and so these hormones help you to deal with stress. But if you're stuck in this constant state of, of stress, what happens is that you have prolonged elevations of cortisol. And and what, what a prolonged elevation of cortisol can do is it can compromise your barrier systems. So your barrier systems, remember there are three that we're gonna talk about primarily. Well, you could say four, but three that are really relevant to our approach, which one is gonna be the GI tract, the gut health, right? So if you have Elevated cortisol for a prolonged period of time, it's going to break down the GI tract wall, or it can cause it to lose integrity for the cells of the GI tract wall to not repair as quickly. And you can develop intestinal permeability or leaky gut, which we know can perpetuate autoimmunity through food proteins leaking in or um, endotoxins, these things that are produced by bacteria like lipopolysaccharides can get into the bloodstream and trigger these immune responses. Okay, So it compromises barrier system integrity. The gut's one barrier. The lung barrier is a second barrier system. So you can compromise your, your, gut bar your gut and lung barrier at the same time. You can also compromise your blood brain barrier, which keeps things out of the brain that we don't want to be in the brain, that we want to stay in the bloodstream. A lot of things, you know, the blood brain barrier is very um, particular in what it allows through because things can, if they get into the brain, it triggers a very aggressive um, group of, of nerve uh, nervous system immune, well, they're actually immune cells, they're called glia. And these glia, what they do, these microglia, what they do is they're very, very aggressive at anything that gets into the brain. As a matter of fact, over half of your neurons, or, or half of the mass, not neurons, you have neurons in your brain and then you have these glial cells. These glial cells, what they are is they're immune system cells. But half the mass of the brain are these immune system cells. So you can see that the body was, was designed in a way that if anything gets into the brain, there's going to be a very strong, pronounced, immediate immune response. So the blood-brain barrier, if it breaks down, things can get into the brain that can trigger an immune response, which can have this inflammatory response. Um, can cause this inflammatory process in the brain that can cause brain fog, memory issues, and a lot of the other things that hypothyroidism causes, right? Low thyroid hormone function or low thyroid hormone activity. Those will all result in brain fog, memory issues, and a lot of cognitive decline. So these are the barrier systems, and there's one more. Your skin is another barrier. So one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're addressing the emotional component. It's not something that you can ignore. It's not like you can say, well, I'm just going to eat right, take supplements, and it doesn't matter what else happens. Or, this is what's going to fix me. If that's what you think, you're wrong. And I'm just going to tell you, you're wrong. And and it's uh, the reality is, is that's why you have to look at each person from a holistic perspective. Like what's going on? What's happening in your life? If you have terrible relationships that are causing this to happen, you need to evaluate your life and just say, you know, 
how can I make this better? Is counseling an answer or what, what do I need to do to make this better, right? If it's your job, if it's your finances, then you know, you need to contemplate strategies to help you so you're not, you know, you're not killing yourself with your stress. It's really, really important. So I wanted to share that with you guys because we see so many issues that are related to stress. And when we talk about autoimmunity, here's how stress, emotional stress, can drive an autoimmune process, right? Break down the barrier systems through elevated cortisol and promote inflammation, blood sugar dysregulation, throw off the hormones. All those things are, are um, real possibilities. So I just want to share that with you guys today. If you have any questions, let us know. Post them below. If you're, remember, if in the month of September, you have an opportunity, if you make an appointment, either in office or as a distance consulting client, in, in if you make an appointment with my office, we're going to give you our six-week Hashimoto's Transformation Program, which is a $495 program, and there's actually thousands of dollars worth of, um, of resources that we provide. There's a private Facebook group just for that program. We're going to give that to you as a way to say thank you for everything that you guys have done, for being such a wonderful community, for sharing our videos, and for... Um, you know, just sharing the message that, that I'm trying to teach people, we're going to give you guys that as a, as free, as just for, for being and uh, for making an appointment and coming, you know, you come in or you have a distance consulting appointment via Skype, phone, or FaceTime. And with distance consulting, basically, <clears throat> we can still do testing near you if you need testing done. We can order advanced testing if need be, but we can work with you just like this over video. And I can talk to you, not in the sauna, but, you know, in the office setting, and we can work on looking over your case history and try to figure out what's going on and how we might be able to help you. So the main thing that I want to share with you guys today is, you know, take inventory of your stress, your emotional stress in particular. On the next few videos, what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about the other types of stress, two other types of stress that are really, really important. Things we don't want to ignore, okay? So if you guys need any help, make sure you make an appointment this month. And remember, it usually takes about a two-week lead time to get an appointment in my office. So, and that sometimes can be a month. So you need to find out, you know, you can go to our website at Dr. Dr. Brad Shook, D-R-B-R-A-D-S-H-O-O-K.com, and you can request an appointment there. There's actually an online request form and you can submit it. And that will get you, my staff will then contact you. Or you can just call us at our office at uh, 828-324-0800 and talk to Alicia or Andy. And they'll give you some updates on what our, our timeline is and our lead time. But you know, our, our initial appointments is $250. But that's really for what we do. There are doctors that I know across the country that charge $1,000, $2,000 for this type of stuff we do. I try to make a conscious effort to keep our overhead low and to do things so that we can offer this at a more affordable price to people to give you access to information and help. And and one of the other things I want to do is give you guys this Hashimoto transformation program just during the month of September. I can't do it beyond that because it's so much work for us. I mean, literally, when we when we set you up with this program, we have to do things um, on our end that that are also involved, and then then the ongoing monitoring of our Facebook group and things. It just it snowballs. The more people that are there, um, the more work that it is. So we'll do everything that we can to help you guys. If you want to take advantage of this, that program is a great place to start for people. That's, it's Even though it's called the Hashimoto Transformation Program, it's great for most people that have Hashimoto's. If you have issues with inflammation, blood sugar problems, or gut issues, it's a great, great, great place to start. So I encourage you guys, if you have any questions, post them below. We'll try to answer as much as we can. Uh, but you know, take advantage of this offer. If you've been kind of sitting on the fence, you want someone to help you, someone to look over these labs in more detail, someone to help you investigate the root drivers of the cause, just let me know and I'll do everything that I can to help you. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you again on the next live stream. Thanks.